Now, CSS seems like such a lightweight thing when you first mm -hmm. see it, right? Mm -hmm. Because of that, do you feel that people actually understand that it's a source for performance issues? Um, they don't a lot. Well, I think they understand that it's causing problems, but they yeah. think that that is probably because the language sucks and not because they're doing it wrong, right. <laughs> which, which, which is a, sort of implies a lack of control when actually we can do a lot to make the CSS better. So, yeah. So it's not that it's you know sort of simple on first look. Well, the syntax is simple, right? Yeah. And it's a declarative language, so you expect it to just kind of, you know, work. But it turns out there are patterns that really make it turn out better or worse. Right, right. It can go wrong in a lot of ways. It can, yeah. Speaking of that, what are the most common CSS problems that you're seeing? Um, well, so last year I would have said duplication, and I still feel like that's a really big issue for a lot of companies. They're basically writing the same functionality over and over and over again. Their code isn't dry. Um, but this year, I'm noticing as well a ton of unused selectors. So that's sort of my big focus for this year is getting people to eliminate uh, styles that aren't actually being used anymore on the page, mm -hmm. but yet they still have floating around in the style sheets. What's the process for that? I mean, is there a way to just kind of go through and say it's use, hard. use, not use? It's really, really hard actually because you want you don't want to have it be zero unused selectors because ideally you have your selectors used on the core page and the selectors used for subsequent important flows. Mm -hmm. So you want to have those unused selectors, but what you don't want is to have, you know, the selectors for a flow that's very rarely used, or the selectors for a feature which has been removed, but the no one knew the CSS well enough to take the, that CSS out. So it's it's actually kind of a delicate process of figuring out where things are coming from, whether they're triggered on user actions and should actually mm -hmm. stay in the CSS, or whether they are truly dead styles and can be removed. Right. Yeah, you don't want to knock something out that yeah. is actually used. Mm -hmm. Now, because of its customization, does CSS just sort of inherently tend to be messy? Um, I would say it's because of lack of language, um, uh, lack of the ability to say in the language the things that we need to say. Like we have no way of saying this inherits from that, or mm. um, you know this particular box is still a kind of box. So let me not repeat everything I've said about box in order to right. uh, have this new one. So um, in that sense, the, there is missing functionality from the language that lets it get messy. Um, yeah, so maybe the answer is yes. Yeah. <laughs> so last question for you. What is the object-oriented CSS project? What are you hoping that, that becomes? Um, so it's an open source project um, around the ideas of applying programming best practices to CSS development. And um, it's been uh, live for three or four mm -hmm. years now. I'm terrible with time. I'm not sure exactly how long. but. Um, my goal with it is not necessarily to have it be a framework that people take wholesale and use in their site, but rather something that they understand is one implementation of a set of ideas about how to build scalable front ends, mm -hmm. and that then they run with it and build their own. So maybe someone will grab the grids and grab the spacing classes, but they don't necessarily need the boxes or the links. They do that on their own, uh, but following the principles of, of good scalable CSS development. Right, so pick and choose. And, yeah, you know. definitely. Yeah, it's not meant to be sort of a be-all answer. It's meant to be a sort of community place where we can discuss like what's the best way to make tabs, and then okay. you know people can then layer on their own tabs uh, above the base class. Interesting. Well, thanks so much for being with us. Appreciate you taking the time. Thanks for having me.